afternoon. Hello, Fatima. Happy Ramadan. You too, Happy man. Ramadan. You too. So how are you guys feeling? You had to wake up I'm early fine. today? <laughs> yes, of course. Yeah. But but I'm glad that you know we start at ten. This is this is I think this is satisfactory for everybody. Okay, just gonna wait for one more minute before sharing the screen. Do you have any questions for me while waiting? No, any no thank you. Great. Any more participants? Any more people who want to participate in the debate? Okay. You can choose, Miss. Um, uh, Adam, I would be thrilled if you uh, decided to uh, participate because you are uh, you generally have uh, you are a persuasive person, so it's it's nice to uh, you know record that video. I cannot choose because it's uh, it's not obligatory. If you wanna, so but I I would be glad if you participated. Okay, uh, the topics are very interesting. Kamel, you don't want to participate in the debate. Yeah. No, miss. No, I'll take that. <laughs> Even though, Kamel, you do have good arguments when you write, so uh, it's it's a little disappointing. You will get a, a, you know by just participating and uh, recording a video, you will get an immediate ten out of ten on your quiz, and the winners, of course, get certificates. Okay, I think we can start now. Um, let's answer those uh, two questions related to persuasive essays. I need to make sure that you guys understand what we're talking about. Okay, what is the main purpose of a persuasive essay? Let me send the link. Good morning. Okay. I sent the link. Good morning, everyone. Please answer the question. What is the main purpose of a persuasive essay? Mm -hmm. Wow. Okay, I have 14 participants. I expect 14 answers. Good, good. You guys are answering fast, good. Okay, great, correct, correct. Eight people answered. So far, the purpose of a persuasive essay is to convince a reader about a certain point of view, okay? To make them change your mind and adopt your point of view. Okay, now the second question. What is a claim in a persuasive essay? Let me just present it. What is a claim in a persuasive essay? I'm trying to share this session also about the persuasive essay. Um, I only part of it, not all of it. What 
with the second part? Uh, the second part, I'm going to start uh, with our uh, lesson for next time. For next week, I'll introduce the lesson. Okay, what is a claim in a persuasive essay? Can you send the link? Oh, okay. Some of you don't have a link. Okay. Is Ahmad Shahimi with us? Because I admitted Ahmad Farhat and Ahmad Audi. No, not, not yet. yet. Okay, no problem. Okay, so a claim in the persuasive essay is your thesis statement. And where do we write the thesis statement? Where do we write the thesis? All, all answers are correct. Thank you, guys. Where do we write the thesis statement? The last Exactly. The the last... the exactly. exactly. The last part of an introduction. And generally, when we write a persuasive essay, guys, what, what kind of topic are we discussing? A controversial issue. A controversial yeah. issue, which is something that what, Ahmed Audi? It has many of Opinions. that have opposing opinions about it just like the the screen displayed here okay now before i move on to something else i want to make sure everybody knows how to write a good introduction in a persuasive essay so um let's see which one would you like to choose i want to write the introduction with you uh is it prompt a or prompt b prompt a prompt a a a a a, okay. Yeah. Yes. A, but here I asked you to write, uh, uh, to be negative about it, to, to be con about it. Okay. Okay, great. So uh, first of all, let's, uh, you know, yes. let's rethink what we said uh, yesterday. Why would we be, okay, let me read the, the prompt first of all. Let me reread the prompt. Yes. yes. We have an essay for the history. No, it will be due next Tuesday. I will send Tuesday. it next Tuesday. That would be in six days. Like the deadline? Yes, six days. Is anything wrong with no. that? No, no. Okay, great. Okay, Adam, why don't you read the prompt for us? Prompt A. Yes, prompt A, cosmetic surgery is on the rise. In a modern world where an image has become an integral integral part of how society tries to define you. In a well-organized 250 to 300 word essay, give your position on the above topic by arguing against cosmetic surgery. Give three reasons why you against it, why, you why you're against yeah. it. Yeah, yes. uh, one reason in each body paragraph. Okay. Make sure your argument is convincing. Mm -hmm. Use real life examples in order to gain credibility okay. for your essay. Okay, so today I'm going to do two things with you. Brainstorm three reasons why we should be against, and then I'm going to write the uh, introduction with you. Okay, so uh, I asked you to be against it, okay? So why should we be against cosmetic surgery? Uh, before that, uh, Ahmed Farhat, what is cosmetic surgery? First of all, what do we mean by cosmetic, Ahmed Farhat? It's a surgery to, to enhance looks. Okay, just for, for looks purposes. It's not like types of plastic surgery where there is a scar or something. Okay, why should we be against it? Okay, I want to persuade people that it's a bad idea. Uh, yes. First, it costs a lot of money and it's okay, not covered good. by insurance. Costs, good, a lot of money. Uh, not covered by insurance. Okay, great. Now, second, why should we be, why is it a bad idea? 
sometimes it might flop and it might leave some scars on the face or whatever. Okay, it might go wrong, and we've seen a lot of that. Leave many scars. Okay. Okay, Jad. Why is it a bad idea if you're trying to persuade someone not to do a cosmetic surgery? Give me a read. Miss, I don't know. Like, I was trying to say, like, it might go wrong. Like, okay. it might ruin your face and stuff. Okay. Okay, Jad, it's okay. Anyone else? Because we need three. Three reasons to, to convince. It might cause you not necessary. Okay, Adam, what did you say? I said it might cause some diseases. Okay, um, uh, you know what? Like skin cancer. Adverse effects, maybe during. Miss, it can cause Ahmed, what did you say? Miss, like Gamel, can it cause that? Okay, exactly. Adverse effects during or after surgery. We, you know, I've heard of so many people who died under plastic surgery, and there are lawsuits, etc. Death, scarring, uh, heart issues, etc. Okay. okay. Now we brainstorm. This is the first part of writing. We brainstorm. We need to write. Okay, we need to write our introduction. I want someone to quickly Google a fact for me so that we can write it as a hook or give me an interesting hook. How can we begin? A statistics? Yes, an interesting statistic we can begin with. Or a quote or a shocking fact. It needs to be a good hook. Shakhas heart issues. Uh, no, no, I meant people with heart issues. People with heart issues could uh, could uh, die under surgery. This is what I meant. Mm. Yes. They could die at any surgery, not only plastic yes, surgery. Under surgery, yes. Of course. Plastic surgery is not completely scar free. Yes. Okay. Anyone come up with an interesting uh, hook? No one? No one. Oh my God, I can't believe it. 65% of women who have done cosmetic surgery have regretted it after. Thank you, Ahmed. Okay. Okay, uh, a recent statistic, we start by that. A recent statistic. Showed that. Yes, shows that 65. Yes. Percent of women who underwent cosmetic surgery. Regretted it. Regretted it. Okay, very good hook. It's, it is a shocking fact. Now, we need leading statement, one leading statement or two, like a background information of cosmetic surgery. A, 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 you know, a definition would Can be- Can we define it? Hmm? Can we define it? Of course, it this is where you define. This is an, uh, the place where you define. Is? Can we say that cosmetic surgery is a surgery that a person undergoes to enhance his features? Yes. Procedure, okay, where a person, uh, which a person does, undergoes. To okay. enhance an appearance. Yes. To enhance their appearance. Their appearance. If, if you want, you can write his or her appearance. It is mainly done for superficial reasons. If you want to use a, another a different word, it's okay. But remember, we are arguing against, we can use those strong words, okay? Now, 
okay, I have the hook, I have two leading uh, statements or sentences. Now I need to write my, thesis. my claim or thesis, yes. It's a good idea in a thesis to write the three reasons in a brief way. Can we say I'm totally against cosmetic surgery because, and we state the three reasons? Okay, okay. Um, cosmetic surgery could be a bad decision. You can write it in your own way. Due to issues such as, okay, such as what? Adverse effects. Adverse effects. Adverse effects. Okay, they're listed in front of you. What else? Not covered by insurance. Okay, if, um, huge costs. Sensitive. Yeah. And then you can say not covered by insurance. You can write that in the details if you don't want to make a very long thesis. And okay. um, adverse. Mm, okay, adverb okay. effects. That Without adverse effects. Uh, I wrote that. I'm sorry. And what's the third one? Uh, okay. It's, it might go wrong. Potential. Maybe adverse results. Potential scarring. That could happen if surgery, if the surgery goes wrong. wrong. Okay. Okay. Look at this. We have everything in that uh, thesis statement and in that introduction. Uh, any questions? Sharif, I haven't heard your voice yet. I haven't heard the voices of many people. Samir, is, yes, this, yes. is, this, is this understood? Yes, yes did, Mr. Mr. Didn't you call out my name? Yes, I did. I did. Is this understood, uh, Sharif? We just write, wrote an introduction together. Mm, yes. OK. Uh, several of you write a one or two sentence introduction. Okay, please, whenever your, your introduction has less than three full stops, you probably missed something, okay? Uh, Yaoub, just what three things do we need in, introdu in an introduction? Quickly. Yaoub? Okay. Um, yes, Miss. Yeah. Oh, what three things do we need in, in, in an introduction? How many sentences should it be at least? Uh, it needs uh, three, three. Three sentences at least. Okay. What are those three parts in an introduction? Uh, background information. Okay. How do we begin? Hook. Yes. The hook. Uh, we can start by. Uh, a fact or okay oh, which is a hook interesting which is a hook okay and then finally we put the background information and then the thesis the thesis in a persuasive essay what is the thesis called yeah uh, it's called uh... can someone help yeah Claim. It's a claim. Yes, it's called a claim. Okay, and claim. a claim. And uh, Yaoub, in a persuasive essay, in the thesis, you need to tell the reader where you stand on that issue. Are you with or are you against? Clear? Clear. Yes. Okay, then I started you on your essay. Choose whatever you want. Choose uh, the first A or B. Okay, and then uh, send them to me as soon as you finish. They are due next Tuesday. Okay, since we're done with that, okay. let, me, okay. let me move on to a new lesson. Okay, uh, we're moving fast in uh, 10th grade. It's actually the most efficient class I have, and I'm truly proud of you guys. 
Our next lesson, our next, next unit is called uh, natural disasters. Who can define natural disasters before uh, we begin? What's a natural disaster? Environmental phenomenon. Miss, can I give you examples of disasters? Yes, give me, give me an example of a natural disaster. Miss, can I give you examples? Yes, of course. Um, volcano, tsunami, okay, natural disaster, earthquake, Is Sammy speaking? This is a tornado, a natural disaster. Yes, volcanoes, tornadoes. Yes, this is a tornado, a natural, natural disaster. This is uh, aren't volcanoes normal? Volcanoes um, are natural. Earthquake. They are disasters. normal. They are natural, but they are disasters. Now I'll give you the other yeah, two. Tornadoes, Volcano what else? Eruptions are natural disasters. Hurricanes. Hurricanes. Floods. Earthquake. 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 Earthquakes, yes. Floods. Floods. Great. What else? Something that has been on the increase. Forest fires. Thank you. Forest wildfire. Wildfire, yes. Yes, forest fires, you can call them. Yeah. Oh, global warming. Global warming. Yeah, global warming. Yes. By the way, global warming is one is causing forest fires and the floods to increase. Yes, yes because of the increase yeah. in the temperature. Okay. Uh, also, one of them. If you get this, I'll give you half a point. Um, now, uh, it's winter is almost over. It's over, I think. One natural disaster could happen. What is it? But please raise your hand because I cannot. See, it's overfilling. Over. Um, I need. To, it's it's oh. a name of a natural disaster. But please raise your hands. Something with the snow. Yes, Yaub. Uh, avalanche. Thank you, avalanche. Yaub, remind me about that half a point. Avalanche. What's an avalanche? Snow it happened in Texas like a month ago. Mm -hmm. Is there snow melting? Is snow? No, when the snow mountains fall, actually. Exactly. A mountain of snow just oh. collapses. Just collapse. There, there's an interesting movie called Avalanche. Mm -hmm. Okay, so those are natural disasters. But there are also things called natural phenomena. And not everything natural is a disaster, of course. Who can tell me what a certain natural phenomena is? Something that occurs naturally in nature, but it, it isn't a disaster. Rain. Weather. Weather. Okay, weather. Rain. Rain, yes. What else? A phenomena. Miss, something interesting. Miss, can you the, this is an eclipse, a natural phenomena. Good. Eclipse. Yes. It's the northern uh, lights. Uh, yes. Forgot the what they call. Lights, those green. By the way, I joined late because of my internet. It's okay. Miss also rainbows. Rainbows, of course. Rainbows. Blood moon. Uh, the blood moon. By the way, gravity. The... Gravity, exactly. Wow, gravity. Okay. Blood moon is in May, Miss. Yes. It, it's it's going to happen in May? Yes, and the pink moon is in, is in April, April, maybe. Okay, and are we going to be able to see it in Lebanon? I think so. Last year, we did, we did see the pink moon. I don't remember the blood moon. Okay, that's interesting. Okay, so a, a lot of things occur in nature. We call them disasters if they cause two things. What are they? Uh, Jed? We call it a natural disaster if it causes two things. What are they? Destruction. Miss, like, uh, miss disaster, yeah. uh, yes, it's like, miss disaster, and it's a It's a disaster. It affects. It affects. Miss, it like affects uh, our our communities and stuff. Okay, how? And our buildings. Okay. It harms us. It causes two things. Ahmad Shahimi, can you tell me what they are? That's why we call it a disaster. 
Um, miss damage to to the things around us. Yes, damage to property and the ball. What? Humanity. Damage Death. to humans, miss. Or... Death. Okay, it's a disaster because it causes two things. Death and destruction of property. Okay. Natural pheno phenomena are just beautiful phenomena. Okay, they they appear in nature, and they do not cause any damage yes. or um, loss of life. Okay, now who the has is oxygen no. natural phenomena? I'm sorry, Adam. Is oxygen a natural phenomena? Well, it, it's not a phenomena. When we speak of phenomena, we 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 mean something like a. a, a a beautiful occurrence or a strange occurrence that we see. It's just a fact. Oxygen is yes. a, a shooting star. Yes, that definitely. That's a natural phenomenon. Uh, the comets, the things that uh, made dinosaurs extinct. What were those? Meteors. Those are all natural phenomena. Now, who has heard of uh, the Texas deep freeze? First of all, where is Texas? This is our first lesson. Where is Texas? America. In America. In the state of the US. Okay, who can tell me something about uh, Texas? A fact. Desert. It's a desert, exactly. Texas is a desert. Uh, has anyone heard what happened to Texas uh, earlier this year? Yes. What? No, uh -huh. so I don't know. Hmm. It, Texas just froze. Like uh, it became Canada, man. It became Texas became Canada exactly. And the irony, this is a situational irony. The irony is that Texas is a desert. It's down in the south of the United States, very well known to be a huge desert. And by the way, we have a student from ISI who is uh, with us online, and she lives in Texas. And I talked to her when this happened. It was a disaster. It was totally unexpected. So the title of the lesson- People lost their houses. Yes. Too many stuff. Mm -hmm. Okay, so let's read what happened. Uh, Ahmed Audi, would you please read the title? Why the deep freeze caused Texas to lose power. Okay. On, Saturday, on Sunday night, see? Yes, please. Yeah. On Sunday night, as a burst of Arctic air swept southward across the Great Plains, mm -hmm. power plants in Texas started flicking off fine. Okay, what generation do we mean? Uh, Ahmed, what do we mean yeah. by power plants? Are they plants? What are they? No, the machines that provide power, maybe. Yes. Electricity. Yes. Yeah. Yes, our plants are uh, huge structures that produce electricity. Okay. Continue, Ahmed. Wind generation fell 52 percent between 9 p.m. Sunday and uh, and 3 a.m. Monday local time, according to the U.S. Energy Information Administration figures. Coal dropped 13 percent, and natural and natural gas generation. The cornerstone of the Texas grid plumped, plumped 25% over six hours period. Okay, so, uh, okay, uh, Ahmed, so what happened? How did the author begin the article? Yes. Can you hear me? Okay, I'm not sure. Yes, can you hear my name? Yeah, no, I said, uh, Ahmed, can you hear me? I think uh, I asked how the author began the, the article. What What is the article gonna be about? Facts, he, be he began them with facts. Okay, a, a shocking fact about what happened in Texas during that uh, that night. By giving percentages in time. Okay, uh, paragraph three. Um, Sammy, would you please read paragraph three? 
Uh, yes, miss. Miss, miss, my screen is a bit blurry because of my internet. Okay. Uh, okay, who can... By the time the sun over Texas at 7 a.m., mm -hmm. energy demand on the state's primary electric grid had surged to about 71 gigawatts. Texas power plants were only able to muster up roughly 51 gigawatts of electricity, leaving millions without power and shivering in the cold. Okay, Sammy, why do you think that all of a sudden people needed more power? People needed more electricity all of a sudden. Who can answer that question? What was the question? For heaters because of yeah, because of the cold? Exactly, because of, of heaters. Because of heaters. It's Texas. And suddenly everybody needs to turn on their heat and it's uh, the, the electricity power plants didn't expect that. So millions were left without power and shivering in the cold. Okay, paragraph uh, four, Fatima, would you please? It's a disaster. It is a disaster. And it's uh, yes, it unprecedented. It hasn't happened before. Yes, Fatima? It was a different story Never. in the north. Temperatures were even colder in parts of the Southwest Power Pool, SPP, a 14 state electricity system stretching from North Texas to the Canadian border. But generation from coal and gas plants there held steady and even increased. Wind output, meanwhile, followed the normal pattern of declining throughout the day before picking up again later Monday. It was a similar situation in the Mid-Continent Independent System Operator, MISO, a 15-state system going from Louisiana to the Canadian province of Manitoba. Okay. Okay, neither MISO nor SPP was able to completely avoid the grips of the cold. Both were forced to sever electricity. Sever means cut to customers in a bid to stabilize their grids. You, you, yet those outages were limited in duration and scope compared with what unfolded in uh, Texas. Uh, why do you think, um, Yaoub, why do you think that uh, those power plants uh, did that? Why do you think they weren't ready for this? Because um, they weren't expect expecting, uh, they weren't mm -hmm. prepared for cold weather. Oh, weather. Exactly. They, they weren't prepared. It, it has never happened. And because they're used to the heat. Yeah. Exactly. And take a look at this, uh, this interesting picture I saw on the internet. This is a cactus. Where, where do cacti grow? Where do they grow? The desert. In the, the desert. desert. Yes. Look at the snow. Okay. Um, let's see. Camille, would you please read paragraph six? Yes, miss. Uh, the difference point to some of the key failures that have forced the electric re reliability counseling of Texas, the state's primary uh, grid operator to enforce sustained blackouts since Monday. It also highlights the challenge facing the Biden administration and climate activists as they seek to decarbonize America's collection of electric grid. Okay, so what does it mean, Kamel? Uh, the Biden administration, the new American president and climate activist, thank God he is pro-environment. Um, they are seeking to decarbonize America. What does that mean, Kamel? Uh, stop burning fuels to get uh, energy for good. electricity. Good, good, good for you. Okay, now Erkut's challenges are several. For one, it is more reliant on gas for electricity generation than its neighbors, which still boast sizable uh, coal fleets. Okay, they want to decarbonize America. However, what's going on now? What are they mostly dependent on? On gas. On gas and they're both mentioned in... Uh, Okay. Oh, yes, and electricity generation. Go, yes, exactly, Fatima. Gas and coal, which both produce what? 
an increase in the carbon dioxide percentage in America? Exactly. They, they are both producers of carbon, CO2 and CO. Okay. Paragraph eight, Sharif. Yes, miss. Hmm. Paragraph eight, please. That matters for two reasons. Gas also serves heating needs, meaning the demand for the fuel uh, surges during cold snap. Coal faces no such competition. It also leaves the state vulnerable to disruptions in gas supplies. Many gas wells also produce water and distillates, which can freeze during cold spells. Okay. Thank you. I just wanted to, to show you the, the other pictures. Okay. This is what also happened. A palm tree covered with snow. Just a second, please. Palm tree covered with snow. This is a whole fountain that was frozen in Texas. And uh, look at this fan. Okay, that's just totally frozen. Okay, paragraph nine. Celia. Yes, miss. Paragraph nine, please. Uh, one of the big lessons here is gas is treated as a firm resource, but it is, but it is not because it, reali it relies on just-in-time delivery, said Alex Gilbert, a fellow who studies energy systems at the Colorado Schools of Mines. Pain, what's that word? Pain. Institute for Public Policy. For me, it's looking at SPP and MISO South, there are other planning reasons involved, but they have a more di diversified mix and that is definitely helping them. Okay. Paragraph 10. Paragraph 10, Michael. Sorry. Paragraph 10, would you please read paragraph 10? That's no endorsement of coal. Most coal plants in the United States are older and utilities are investing less in them now. Two factors that increase the probability of, of forced outages during extreme weather events. Instead, Gilbert argued the United States needs to take us a holistic approach to energy planning that includes other factors such as energy efficiency and development of clean technologies to complete wind and solar. Okay, so what does Gilbert advise? What, what, is, what is his advice? Um, Ahmad Farhat, what does Gilbert advise here, the American government? Um, so what's the question? Uh, what does Gilbert advise the American? What was his advice for the, the United States as a government in paragraph 10? To take a holistic approach to energy planning. Hmm. Okay, by using what? Yes, Adam? By using uh, technologies that don't... Need... Energy, technologies, and wind and solar. Okay, wind and solar energy. What do we call those types of, uh, ener those types of energy sources? Wind, solar geothermal, what types of energy are those? Okay, we call them alternative energy. We also call them green source of, sources of energy. Uh, Fatima, why would we call them green? Renewable. Source? Renewable, exactly, Adam. Why would we call them also green sources of energy? Because they're from the environment, we don't have to burn anything. They're just present. Exactly. They do not hurt the environment. 
Okay, guys, this is it for today's lecture. We will continue with the... Uh,